Why does a single sting cost a honeybee its life? It's a curious, and perhaps tragic, aspect of nature that a honeybee's last act of defense results in its death. In this video, we'll explore the fascinating mechanics and biological reasons behind this phenomenon. From the unique anatomy of a honeybee's barb stinger to the evolutionary trade-offs prioritizing colony safety over individual survival, we'll reveal how these industrious pollinators are built for sacrifice. You'll discover why not all stingers operate the same way, meet other bee species that don't face the same fable outcome, and even debunk some common myths about bee stings. Stick around to learn how nature's design for honeybees transforms a sting into a remarkable act of sacrifice that protects their colony. Understanding the anatomy of a bee sting The secret behind why honeybees perish after stinging lies in their unique stinger anatomy. Unlike wasps, which have smooth stingers, honeybees possess barbed stingers designed to lodge into the skin of their target. This barbed structure acts much like a fish hook, making it extremely difficult to remove once embedded. When a bee stings a mammal, the barbs become firmly anchored, causing the bee to leave behind part of its abdomen, venom sac, and internal organs as it attempts to fly away. This severe injury is fatal for the bee. The anatomy of their stingers isn't just a random quirk. It evolved specifically to maximize venom delivery, which serves as a strong deterrent to predators. By understanding these anatomical differences, we gain insight into why only certain bee species face such a dramatic end after stinging. Mechanism of stinging When a honeybee stings, it's not just about causing pain. It's an intricate process meant to protect the hive. The bee's stinger pierces the skin and quickly releases venom. Within seconds, muscles attached to the stinger pump venom from the venom sac into the target, delivering maximum impact. Even after the bee pulls away, leaving behind its stinger and venom sac, the detached apparatus continues to pump venom, increasing its defensive effectiveness. This autonomous response maximizes the deterrent effect and can lead to localized pain, swelling, and even allergic reactions in some cases. The act of stinging releases a pheromone that signals danger to other bees, rallying them to swarm and defend the hive if needed. This coordinated mechanism underscores just how much bees prioritize colony survival, even at the cost of their lives. Why Honeybees Die After Stinging The reason honeybees die after stinging is tied directly to their barbed stinger design. When a honeybee stings a thick-skinned predator, like a mammal, its stinger becomes lodged, and as it pulls away, it leaves behind not just the stinger, but also critical parts of its body. This internal injury is fatal, causing the bee to perish shortly after. This self-sacrifice isn't wasted. It delivers a powerful sting, increasing the chances of the intruder leaving and protecting the hive. Unlike other insects capable of stinging multiple times, the honeybee's one-time sting is an evolutionary choice that prioritizes hive safety over individual survival. By focusing on defending the entire colony, these bees ensure that their collective lineage and genetic code continue. Evolutionary Adaptations and Their Costs The honeybee's barb stinger didn't evolve randomly. It developed as a potent defense mechanism, particularly against larger predators. While dying after a single sting may seem counterproductive, it actually aligns with a survival strategy that prioritizes the collective well-being of the colony over the individual. A single sting may be fatal for the bee, but it can deter threats from attacking the hive, preserving thousands of other bees. This evolutionary adaptation shows that nature often operates on a broader scale, favoring strategies that promote the survival of the group rather than the individual. The cost of this adaptation is high for individual bees, but the payoff is a strong, well-defended hive capable of thriving in hostile environments. Role of Stinging in Colony Defense Stinging is essential for protecting a honeybee colony from threats. When a bee stings, it acts not for itself, but out of duty to the hive. The sting serves two functions, as a physical deterrent, causing pain and delivering venom, and as a chemical signal. The bee releases pheromones during the sting, which act as a rallying call to other worker bees, mobilizing them to defend the hive. This collective defense strategy ensures that any intruder faces a strong and coordinated response, making the hive a daunting target. 
the individual bee's sacrifice highlights an extraordinary commitment to the colony's survival, embodying selflessness that underscores how bee colonies prioritize communal welfare over individual life. This cooperative defense mechanism is crucial for ensuring the hive's continued safety and resilience. Exceptions among bees and related species Not all bees and insects share the honeybee's fatal fate when they sting. For example, bumblebees have smoother stingers, enabling them to sting multiple times without suffering harm. Similarly, wasps and hornets, with their non-barbed stingers, can strike repeatedly, making them more aggressive defenders. This distinction emphasizes how unique and specialized the honeybee's barbed stinger adaptation is a trade-off that maximizes the impact on threats but comes at a steep cost. Even within honeybee populations, variations exist regarding when and why they sting, often influenced by factors such as hive health, environmental threats, and the need to defend their colony. Comparing honeybees to their relatives not only highlights these differences, but also sheds light on the diverse evolutionary strategies insects use for survival. This contrast showcases nature's complexity, revealing how different stinging adaptations cater to specific ecological roles and survival strategies across species. Implications for bee conservation and human interaction Understanding why honeybees die after stinging sheds light on how we can better coexist with these vital creatures. As essential pollinators, bees play a critical role in food production and maintaining biodiversity. By appreciating their defensive behaviors, we can minimize conflicts through simple measures like avoiding sudden movements around hives and creating bee-friendly spaces filled with pollinator-friendly plants. Knowledge of their sacrifices emphasizes the importance of conserving bee populations, especially as they face threats like habitat loss, pesticide exposure, and disease. Promoting empathy and awareness about bees ensures that their role in ecosystems is protected, fostering healthier landscapes and more resilient food supplies worldwide. Conservation initiatives can be more impactful when informed by an understanding of bee behavior, helping humans live harmoniously alongside these incredible insects and securing their continued contributions to the planet's ecological balance. Fun Facts and Common Myths About Bee Stings did you know that honeybee venom has medicinal properties and is sometimes used in treatments like apotherapy? Or that bee stings aren't always fatal to the bees? Sometimes they can sting softer surfaces and survive? Despite popular belief, not all bees sting aggressively. Most prefer to avoid conflict. Busting these myths and learning fascinating facts makes bee stings less terrifying and more intriguing emphasizing just how complex and valuable bees are to our world. In summary, honeybees die after stinging due to their unique barbed stinger, which sacrifices individual bees for the greater good of the colony. This seemingly tragic adaptation underscores the lengths these insects go to protect their hive and highlights their vital role in nature. By understanding this process, we can better appreciate the complex balance of life and survival strategies within the animal kingdom. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed uncovering the mysteries and exploring the unknown with us, give that like button a tap. It helps us keep asking the big questions. Got thoughts, theories, or insights burning in your mind? Share them in the comments. We're here for the curiosity and conversation. And if you want to keep the journey going, hit subscribe and ring the bell so you never miss an exploration. And as always, question everything.